Program change is then a fairly straightforward. Again, select an empty track, somewhere out of the way I normally select. Now, this is quite important. Choose the MIDI channel on that track that the program change is going to be talking to. So, for example, if you want to change the sound on the Proteus, which is on B13 in this case, you want to change it to something else during a piece of music, make sure the MIDI channel of that track is set to B13, so that program change command goes out on B13. Then click on E for Edit, press Return to get into the score page. It's obviously empty because there's nothing on that track. Now, drag in a program change command, and here they are up here. Drag those in and drop one into the event editor. Choose the point at which you want the program change to happen. So let's say we want this program change to happen at bar 8. And then use just the last number to set the program change number. Now, 33 will probably relate to 33 on your keyboard. If you've got a Roland machine, they're normally one out, so 38 is 37 and, and so on. But you can click on this number, and if you've got... Let's move this down a bit more. If you've got MIDI out selected here, whenever you click on this number here, you'll be able to see on your keyboard, as you can see on my Proteus here, the sounds changing as I click on the various numbers. So set the program change command up when you, when you find the right sound. So let's say we'll choose um, that sound there, like that. So we know now at bar 8, it'll jump to program change number 48, which on the Proteus is the grand piano. So let's just try that out. So back to the main page. Here's our program change command. Give it a name by double-clicking just so you know that it's a... I just normally call it PRUG, P-R-G, so you know it's a program change command. Now, let's reset our Proteus sound module back to its original sound. So I'll just reset that now on the Proteus, like so. That's fine, OK. And let's play the track from the beginning and see what happens. When it gets to bar 8, it should send a program change command. To B13. Let's watch on the Proteus. It gets to bar 8. 2, 3, 4. There you go. There you go. Change to grand piano for the last bar. So program change commands. You can have as many as you like uh, within a single track. Just remember to always set the correct MIDI channel for where you want the program change command to go to.